Hi everyone, I'm Nitin and welcome back to PSCD Math 2021 Paper 2 Question Series and today I'll be going through question 7. So let's get started. Okay, question 7 is actually testing us on angles. Okay, okay, let's read the question first. A, B, C, D is a rhombus. Okay, so A, B, C, D is a rhombus. EFG is an equilateral triangle. DGH is a straight line. Find angle Y. Okay, they told us that ABCD is a rhombus, so ABCD. So this is actually a rhombus. Okay, this is a rhombus. So rhombus, all their sides are equal and opposite angles are equal so 102 over here it will be 102 degrees over here as well okay and efg is an equilateral triangle okay so this is efg okay so efg is an equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle all their sides are the same and all their angles are 60 degrees okay and they are asking us to find why while well, dgh is a straight line so this is dgh okay and they have given us some angles over here okay so in order to find y which is over here what we need to do in order to find y which is over here what we need to do is to first um what we need to do the main thing that we need to do is basically you see this small triangle over here Okay, let me highlight to you in another color. So this small triangle over here. See this small triangle over here? Okay, this small triangle actually needs to be, so we need to find this angle over here and we take 180 degrees minus 60 and this angle in order to find Y. So that's our main purpose. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is to first find the angles of this triangle because I know that this angle over here is vertically opposite to this angle. So these two angles are vertically opposite each other. So I'm going to find this angle over here in order to find this angle over there. Yeah. So first of all, let's find this angle. So we know that ADC is equal to 102 because of opposite, opposite angles in a rhombus. So this is ADC over here. So this is ADC. And this is 102 degrees because it's opposite. Okay? And now, first I'm going to do this. So in order to find angle CDG, CDG over here, CDG, I'm going to take 360 degrees, which is angles at a point. So you see this point over here? So basically, that's 360 degrees. And in order to find this angle for this triangle over here, hey, sorry, for this triangle over here, I need to take 360 degrees minus 155 degrees over here and minus 102 degrees, which will give me 103 degrees. So let me write that down, 103 degrees. Okay, now let's find this angle over here. So in order to find the angle, I need to take all the angles of an equilateral triangle make 60 degrees, right? So this angle over here is 60 degrees. That angle is EGF. EGF is 60 degrees. So since this is a straight line over here, this is a straight line. I'm going to take 180 degrees minus 96 degrees minus 60 degrees in order to find angle D G E which is basically this angle over here and this angle uh, is basically 24 degrees okay 24 degrees okay and in order to find this angle which is vertically opposite to the angle in the smaller triangle I'm going to do 180 degrees minus 103 degrees minus 24 degrees which will give me 53 degrees because this is angles in a 
triangle okay so i hope you understand that so far and so since it is vertically opposite this angle should be 53 53 degrees as well and in order to find angle y i'm just going to take 180 degrees for this orange color triangle minus the 60 degrees and minus the 53 degrees okay which will give me 67 degrees and 67 degrees is the answer for this question and this is basically because of the sum of angles in a triangle okay so this question is uh, might look slightly harder but it's actually really simple if you understand the the concept of vertically opposite angles angles at a point and angles on a straight line and you also need to know the properties of a rhombus and an equilateral triangle and if you know that this question is really really simple to do okay and so i hope you understood my explanation for this question and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye